making steak and eggs and I was like oh low-key that looked like that would be fire in Philly I took myself to the grocery store and I bought a thin slice of steak and eggs yesterday we went to a paella making class while I'm traveling I want to be able to go and like do cooking classes everywhere that I go just so that you can really engulf yourself in the culture period you understand like what they eat how they eat and so paella was made in Valencia Spain so we went to the place where it was birthed learned how to make it it was a fun a good time but I nearly almost threw up we're eating I said, my God, can y'all give it another name, please? I'm telling y'all, once this year long thing is over, when I get back home, she's vegan again. But it's good though, I ain't gonna hold you. That's why I used to tell people back in the day when people would ask me, well, steak, why don't you just get steak? Why are you trying to make mushrooms be steak like type team? Nobody said this was nasty. Nobody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky Valtea. If you've been here before, hey friend, and if you have not, hey, what's up, hello. See y'all pretty? So you can't do that though. So welcome back, y'all. We're gonna spend a weekend of my life here in Valencia, Spain. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I'm just gonna give a really quick review of Spain so far. She's super chill. Chill. This weekend, we're gonna try to do things. I know I've been hanging out with Claire and Mai. They are both wifey'd up, okay. They're on a double day trip by myself in the apartment for the weekend. And I am really gonna try to maybe do some solo things by myself or maybe hang out with some of the other people in the group. The trip is not about party, 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 party. Let's all get wasted. It's not what this trip is about. Portugal gave that. I'm glad that this is like reeling me in a bit. Surprise, surprise, this is the last full weekend in Spain. I'm gonna be headed to the next destination this time next week I will be in my next country which is crazy that means that we are entering month three hello what is happening we have a pretty not jam-packed day today but we gotta get up and move in and get out the house y'all see I'm already dressed I'm already ready to go because I'm trying to stay on time I'm trying to stay on time here <laughs> Tomorrow we have a potluck. The last one I did not cook at all. Somebody in my comments said that they thought that I was gonna make cinnamon rolls. <laughs> you know I love you down like big time if I make cinnamon rolls. Here's the deal, we're about to look up some recipes on Pinterest to see what I can make for tomorrow. We have our farewell cruise today, a sunset cruise, so I have no idea what that entails because I originally said that I was gonna go because I thought that I was gonna be out of the country. I don't think I told y'all, but my friend had invited me to London and I was going to go and then she ended up going to Paris, blah, blah, blah. I just, it was just too last minute. I'm not a last minute girl, but I was trying to think about it. I'm like, dang, like, it's not like I have a job. Why can I not be a last minute girl anymore? I've been to Paris before. Like, I would have loved to go on. But the idea of doing something so last minute was just like not tea for me. Like I'm too rigid. I'm too struck. I need I need the structure. Like did not end up going, which I wish I could have. But uh, you win some, you lose some. But you live to fight another day. The tea is y'all. I only have two more months in Europe. But leave in the comments like some places that you think I should go because I do want to do like a weekend getaway by myself. Really trying to figure out what I could make. Like what is a good recipe to make. <laughs> When you're cooking for a bunch of people, I have no idea. Pot luck recipe dishes. Somebody's making an eggplant and veggie casserole. Somebody's making veggie rice, Spanish tortillas. There's no dessert. So maybe I'll do a dessert. Y'all, I just did all that major thinking for me to make the most basic dessert of all time. Take a guess. What do you think I'm gonna make? What do you think? What do you think? Cookies. <laughs> the thoughts were thoughty for about 30 minutes trying to figure out what dessert I would make. We're gonna make brown butter cookies though. So maybe, maybe that's a little different. I am about to go to the grocery store right now. The grocery store is literally across the street. I know they are tired of seeing me because I go there every single day and I barely do any cooking. So what am I pulling up to there for? Uh, I really wanted to wash my clothes today. I'm watching this lady put out her clothes. I told y'all they don't do dryers here for real. So they like put out their clothes outside like this for them to dry. Which is why we have one of these things. These are hanging racks to be able to hang your clothes once you finish using the washer. Cause you see the washer is over here. here. So I wash my clothes here, but it's only a washer. It's not a dryer and you dry all of your clothes over here. That's pretty custom in Europe. What I found so far, I guess. 
But we're not washing clothes now. We're going to the grocery store. I'm delaying. I really do not feel like it. Right. Oh, I'll talk to you later. We have switch cameras, guys. I am about to go to the grocery store right now. I also have to take my trash out. Aren't you like, you know how like you have trash chutes in apartment buildings? There's usually not one. They keep their trash like very organized. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. <laughs> it is not a messy city in Europe at all. Like they clean their streets. Like New York, hello, are you listening? They clean their streets. It don't smell like piss outside or nothing, Jesus. Okay, let's go and throw the trash out and we're headed to the grocery store. Okay, we made it outside. I think I'm not gonna make the cookies from scratch because there aren't any like measuring cups or anything like that in the apartment, which would make it really hard for me to make the cookies that I want. So I might change my mind. These are the trash, look at all these trash cans. They're organized and everything. I'm just like that, trash is gonna last. So we're walking in, hola. So I want to look and see if they have like measuring cups or something. Like I am a measure with your heart kind of girl. I don't know if I feel like doing all of that. I do need Tupperware. It's only three bucks. This one is two. Crazy junk food stuff that we have in America, they do not have here. I can't even find cookie dough. And y'all know we have everything imaginable in our grocery stores, like a little bit old. We, we OD it a little bit. But I'm in the aisle and I don't see like any pre-made cookies though. And I'm wondering if I should just low-key wing it and see if I can do it without measuring cups. It doesn't work out. It just doesn't work out. It is what it is, babes. It is what it is. I need my Google Translate. Okay, I know azucar means sugar. There's My Google Translate isn't working, so I am really struggling. <laughs> this is flour. Maybe it's this flour. They both give flour. We're just in here on vibes, bro. I need baking soda. I know that's gonna be tough to find. I don't even know what that. Why did I not take Spanish seriously? This low key gives baking soda. I only need chocolate chip cookies, and I cannot find them for the life of me. <laughs> grocery store I got maybe everything that I needed maybe not I don't know my Google Translate stopped working well it didn't stop working I did something called air aloe it's right here and essentially it is an e sim card so it allows you to purchase data in whatever country you're in purchase the e sim on here so that you are able to use your phone out and about like I'm able to use Google Translate while I'm on about I'm able to call an uber while I'm on about I ran out of data <laughs> So I didn't have access to Google Translate at all. I'm actually about to purchase a little bit more data because I, like I said, I'm out of it. So you see, it tells you, you see it says how much data remaining, finished. She said, girl, you're done, you're done. Give you information on like how long it's valid for. So this one is valid for seven days. This one is valid for what, 15 days. Um, so I bought the 30 day one, but I ran through the data really quickly. So I'm just gonna pay $4 for the next seven days, which is one gigabyte. I might have to buy more, I might have to buy less, but I still need the data, so yeah. Data is bought, so now I have data on my phone and I'm able to use my internet while I'm out and about. Okay, we're back to our normal schedule program. So yeah, I went to the grocery store, I got everything that I needed. I didn't take Spanish seriously while I was in school, so I'm not good at it like everybody else. Everybody else was like, stellar here i'm not good at it at all and it kind of makes me a little like i don't know i just feel a way that i've got kind of feel like americans are very selfish <laughs> like everywhere you go like most of the time like people it is a requirement for them to learn english like, i don't know i just i'm just an american i don't know what to do <laughs> i just feel really bad that i don't know any other language but english and it just pisses me off and it just feels so like self fish you know what i mean like i used to feel like that when i was in new york when like somebody in spanish would come up to me and be like oh do you know the directions blah 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 but they would be speaking their language they don't speak english and i'm not able to help because i don't speak your language <laughs> i don't know i might try to do duolingo i tried a while ago i just duolingo just doesn't do it for me duolingo teaches you like i have an apple it's like okay and when am i gonna use this <laughs> I got more steak. I know this is butter because I already bought this. Now, I think that this is white flour. I'm pretty sure. Remember, we were having a little a difficult time trying to decide. Let's see. Okay, this is flour, I think. Pretty sure this is parchment paper. Sometimes it's like a it's like a picture book. You just 
put pieces together. I know this is pineapple. You see this is pineapple? I see this is pineapple. This is pineapple. In Rodajas. In Rodajas. This is definitely sugar. I know sugar is asupor. I thought sugar was spelled E S C, but apparently it's A Z U. <laughs> Asukar. Blanco, yeah! Now, the question, is this brown sugar? It looks like brown sugar. I don't know. It says no refineado, so not refined, I'm assuming. Let's see, azúcar. Okay, brown sugar. <laughs> I mean, any idiot would be able to tell that this was brown sugar. Does it look like brown sugar? Then it might be brown sugar. We got some gum, y'all. They gum here as strong as hell, okay? I'm guessing, do, you, do we think that this is baking soda or baking powder? I don't know. Baking powder? Did I need baking soda or baking powder? Oh my God, bro. I needed baking soda. <laughs> Can you turn baking soda into baking powder? Like, or, like, what's the difference, really? And then I couldn't find chocolate chips to save my life. Like, could not find chocolate chips. But I think that this is what I think it is. Yeah, this is milk chocolate. This is milk chocolate. So we're just gonna cut these up and use these for our cookies. Obviously, I'm not making the cookies now. I is about, I'm, it's six o'clock. We leave in like an hour and a half. I have some work stuff that I wanna get done, so I'm just gonna grab y'all when it's time to go because I don't have any time to do literally anything else. I am about to knock out some work and watch some TV. I just finished Love is Blind, by the way. Ali, 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 Ali. So happy my girl, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, fast forward. I'm so happy my girl Demi said no. You did your big one with that one because we we know you, he put on that big old show talking about something. What? You did your big one, Demi, by saying no. You did your big one. Part of me feels like Ali, like in his head, he wants to be ready, but in his like his normal, like his body, his spirit, his mind, like everything else is not ready, bro. You got some maturing to do. <laughs> maturing is such an old word. You gotta mature. <laughs> Taco, let me crank out some work real quick, and then we're gonna start getting ready to go to the sunset. I was gonna film a video, but I don't, I, I just don't, I can't. Not right now. It's not, I don't have enough time to do it, actually. <laughs> She's been getting her vlogging game, boy. She's been posting almost every day. They look raggedy, but guess what? They're getting better. They're getting better. You can only get better if you try. Period. All waiting on the Uber now. I guess somebody it, but me. Don't forget the boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody said hi to you on the last time on my last vlog, Ryan. They said Ryan's a hoot. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here all day. All year, actually. Ryan has influencer energy. You got 10 more months of me. Get ready. <laughs> Look who has a new haircut. This guy never orders caps, ever. Okay. He just waits till other people order them and then he hops in quietly. He has princess energy. So that's your princess. He's me. He's me. I love that for you. Passenger princess energy is giving. Did you go to the grocery store today to pick up your stuff? Yes, sir. What do you make? I did so good with the easy stuff. Really good. Are you going to try meatballs? Meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. Did you already make it? No. Oh, that's what you said. I was going to make cookies. The problem is, I, there are no measuring stuff. <laughs> so, do this. I'm going to measure with my heart. Oh, shit. Let my ancestors tell me when. What kind of cookies we have in Hello <laughs> But Josh is gonna give us a breakdown of what we're doing because I have no idea. Me or Latrice has no idea what the hell we're doing. We're just along for the ride. I'm Josh. <laughs> I'm the coolest person Nikki knows. We're taking them to a special place called Albufera. You're gonna see the sunset over the lagoon. It's beautiful. You get to see the sun reflecting in the water. And then after that, we're gonna head back and have a nice little dinner at this restaurant. And Nikki's treating everyone, so we're wow. really thankful. <laughs> Even the Uber driver looked up and said, whoa. Suddenly, I forgot my credit card at home. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure, please subscribe. We're off to the boat. Apparently, they have food on the boat. Look, I talked during the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye.
Because they're two inappropriate people this on this show. Water. You can't be arrested. Two inappropriate. One is more inappropriate. Than he that. just says, "Back that ass up." I, everybody should start backing that ass up. We're on a boat. The Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. I'll do you from the bottom while you're trying to hungry. This is from separate. There's nothing new about it. So, hello, everyone. This is Jay. Surf's motherfucking up. Bye. Look at the two lovers. Did you tell them? Yeah. You, you dishing tea I over here? I didn't, get, I didn't dish any tea. They only saw y'all once. They met on the trip and now... I'm okay. getting flowers. Ooh! Uh, look at that! If you want to find your man, go to remote here. I love that for you. Um. It is Sunday. I have been up just organizing my things. I have took everything out of my closet and I have rolled everything up. If you saw my vlog when I left Portugal to go to Spain and y'all know I went out to the club, okay? I went out to the club and I packed the morning up like 45 minutes before it was time for me to leave the Airbnb. Uh-uh. Six days from now we leave to go to our next destination which y'all will see soon. I want to at least have all of my stuff organized because I don't know what it was about this place but I was just tossing my stuff around like I lived here for real, for real. Nothing about this closet was organized at all, girlfriend, like at all. What we're actually about to do is bake these cookies too. So first I want to just knock this out before I do anything. So we are finally about to start making the cookies. It's four o'clock. I needed to start doing these at 3.30, but we're 30 minutes late. The potluck starts at 6 p.m. Welcome to Cookie with Megan. I wonder why I'm not a better baker. Baking is so at the MR. It's funny because my mother, she literally bakes cakes. She bakes like wedding cakes and does all of that. And I just, mm -mm. if you ask me to bake you a cake, baby, it's a no for me. It's a hell no. Apparently we have everything we need. I got some aluminum pans just so that I can use it for the oven and to carry these holes out when it's time to hit the dough. Period, like so like that. Only problem is, is that I have baking soda. Apparently it's baking powder. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can make baking powder, baking soda. Actually, let's look that up first, hold on. Why do I search everything on TikTok? Like, does Google not exist for me anymore? It says for one teaspoon of baking soda, you want to replace three teaspoons of baking powder. So I would need about three teaspoons of this. Remind me, three teaspoons. You know how butter usually has the measurements on the side? This butter does not have measurements on the side. So I'm like trying to figure out how much do I need? Stay it up to here is a cup. Let's just pretend. Let's just pretend. No, I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. Look at these cookies, bro. Look at how incredibly thin these are, like, hello. I do wanna do a taste test just to see if they are just as nasty as I think they are. I was kinda tasting them midway through. I've never done, actually, I've never made cookies that weren't vegan before, ever, like, from scratch. And I've never done brown butter. I don't even know what the, I don't even know if I like the taste of that because when I tasted it in the mix, I don't even know if I really care for the taste of that to be honest with you. I want y'all to see this little thin cookie. Hello. Look at how thin she's skinny. We gooey moment. Okay, wait a minute. Period. <laughs> Let's give it a taste. Now wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It doesn't give nasty. It doesn't give like, damn, this is the nastiest cookies I've ever had in my entire life. Like it def doesn't give that. They don't taste like any other cookie that I've ever <laughs> They also don't taste like any other cookie that I've ever had in my entire life. I really think it was the brown butter, bro. I really think it was the brown butter. Like I said, they're not nasty. Like, they don't taste bad. They're just not, like... Like, I wouldn't go home talking about these. I wouldn't reach for another one. That's the best way I can describe it. Hey! Oh my God, pass me one of those cookies. Like, oh my God, Nikki, can you make some more of those cookies? Like, I would never send those. Would never come out of my mouth. Ever, bro. Ever. So now I'm just like, I don't know, like, do I even go to the potluck? That's kind of bold if I don't show up with something. Because I'm really late. Like, the thing started at 6 to 7.15 already. The typical Nikki fashion, I, my social battery is just so incredibly low. Now I don't want to go at all. <laughs> my battery is about to die. In the next clip, you'll see if I go or not. If I'm in bed or if I'm at the workplace. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, um, so obviously I did not go to the potluck. I don't know, I just got a little anxious and did not feel like pushing my body or my mind to talk to people if I just was not in the mood. Mind you, I'm like close to these people now, but still, I, I get the same way around my family, even like if I just don't want to be bothered, I just... I just don't want to be bothered. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm about to read to bed. I'm currently reading. I've been reading this for a long time too. I feel like y'all might have saw me talk about this mad long ago. But The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I've been reading this for so long. I'm only on chapter 10. I have not been consistent at reading this at all. Like, I don't know. Like, it just has not been. I just don't feel like I don't, I have not, I've, I've been feeling so overwhelmed with so much that I don't have time to do stuff that like I might enjoy. So I'm going to read this to bed and go to sleep. But I will see y'all in a couple of days. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I know you know what's coming. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Complete the heart for me. Thank you very much. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I will talk to y'all in a couple of days i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week the rest of your day the rest of your night whatever it is and i'll chat with y'all later bye